You won't find it on a map because it isn't there anymore, but there was such a place known as Tootsie Lavender, which in French means feet of purple. Now, the reason it was called feet of purple is because all the people who lived there had purple feet. You can't summon up demons? I don't know. Hey, you demons! But she did keep her word, for as soon as she had gone, Hansel turned back into himself. And so did Oddbox all over the world. In fact, <laughs> Oddbox might have become extinct if it weren't for the fact that some Oddbox decided that they'd be happier <laughs> remaining Oddbox. Oh, Doc, uh, would you tell us the way back to our cottage? Je ne comprends pas. Yes, unfortunately, this was a French talking duck. For there, sitting on a log, was their father. Not with his axe, but with a musket. Oh, but don't feel too sorry for the poor little duck. You see, his name was Donald, and he was taken by a man named Walt. Well, uh, never mind. That's right, and now I go... Ah, boy, ah, boy, ah, boy. Right now, you've got to take the pet cow to Merck and sell it. That's not a cow, Mama. It's a llama. I don't care what it is. Go and sell it. I know, I know. I got to lay 50 dozen golden halves for New York. Let them have it, so it's the sorcerer handed a piece of paper to the giant who merely put it in his pocket and climbed up the beanstalk. What'd you give him? A summons to appear in court. And that's why you hear so much talk about a, <laughs> a flying sorcerer. Now, you don't want Granny to have to sit over there and gum her goodies, do you? Time was growing very short when Red looked out of the window. Sure. So how about selling me your skin? I'll give you 10%. Come back! Oh, come now. Would I sell my own grandmother for a measly thousand dollars? I don't know. Would you? Of course I would. He whispered sweet nothings in her ear. Nothing, 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 and likewise nothing. He even showed a keen interest in good books. I've made up my mind. You're going to marry me, baby. How do you like them apples? Obviously, she didn't like them apples. Yes, what do you... I love you, I love you, I adore you, I worship you, I can't live without... Children who let her play with their toys always wish that they hadn't. <laughs> Rub me and get a surprise. Oh, come now, Mama. Would I try to poison my own mother-in-law? Yes. You wait. What? This is it. I feel more handsome already. Because we're not ordinary folks, boy. How so? We're magic. Magic? Yep. I don't want to be or else. No! How do you do? Who are you? I'm a funny little man in a green suit. Mm, you could say that again. I'm a funny little man. Never mind. What do you want? I will spin that straw to gold for you if you will give me your first child after you become queen. My first child? Why that? Who knows? Makes the plot better. It was agreed. About two years afterwards, a beautiful child was born and the little man appeared once again. Hi. What will you do with him? Dress him in a green suit, make a funny little old man out of him. What else? Ah! Do you know me? No, I can't say I do. And with any luck, I never will. I killed seven with one blow. Yeah. And put it in his pocket. See, no Snow White here, just dwarfs. And your health food plan starts with eating these poise, these apples. Now you must tell kindly old Geppetto the good news. And the good fairy disappeared as mysteriously as she had come. You're gonna be the biggest of things since a hunch and juicy. That's Punch and Judy, and I... You're gonna be the greatest to hit since lunch and your hoodie. Punch and Judy. That's what I say. But kindly old Geppetto, I've already done it 50 times. Are you kid? You know what this is? It's paper. That's all right. You know what it's made of? Wood. That's all right again. Heads up, you guys. I give an ice cream cone to the first the one that says, ouch. But the one thing that could be said about little Fred Riding Hood was that he had a beautiful voice and could sing like a bird. <laughs> Quite some time ago, a young bear, upon reaching his 21st birthday, said to his... Citrus of Lemon Hospital, I'm your nurse. And I shall watch over you until you're well healed again. I'm over in the corner watching the radio. The narrator said you were watching television. Television's busted. I'm watching radio. She was so lovely and gay. I do the best I can to make you gay. Now I'll climb down your hair, and when I get to the bottom, I'll explain my plan. What's your plan? Jump! What about lowering the taxes? We could... That wasn't it, huh? Oh, how nice. A lovely pussycat. Pussycat! That's gold. Looks like gold. Yeah. Feels like gold. Yeah. The king says it's gold. Yeah. It's gold. Hooray!
You mean I'm broke, Bubble? Looks like, sire. So the next day, the king called a meeting of his advisors. I wish I had my nickel back. I ought to be in pictures. Da, 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 da. Pal. And he loved to go barefoot and feel the mud squish up between his toes. I love you, mud squishing up between my <laughs> toes. I got them. Are they diamonds, rubies, or something like that? No, they're just shiny stones. You can throw them away now. You're rich. How come I'm rich? Simple. I just bet this woodsman that I could find somebody nutty enough to dive into that cold water and bring up three shiny rocks. Going to the highest cliff in the kingdom, the chicken said one word. Jump! A chicken with a pair of scissors. You suspicious? No. Aunt, today you are three years old, and it's time you got a job. Well, the years went by, as they have a habit of doing. Would you mind telling me why you hooked up the cow to the reducing machine? I wanted a milkshake. Just then. And so he was fed by Proxy, which was the name of his favorite servant. Dean, speak to me. Oh, Dean, what's wrong? Oh, Dean, you look dizzy, Dean. What have I done? What have I done? Where have I gone wrong? That's fine by me, Jack, and in return, I shall tell you how to solve all your problems. How do you know about my problems? I've been listening to the story. Oh! He went to work, but I don't understand. What does a golden touch have to do with being a locksmith? What's the matter? You never heard of Goldilocks. Don't. <laughs>